JJ Yelly has accepted a Parlor sponsorship. Parlor says he embodies what Parlor believes in, and JJ Yelly has praised Parlor. I'm not sure that his other sponsors will be happy about that, but he did it. Now, here's a little release on it. Buckle your seatbelt. September 25th, Parlor has the Las Vegas Motor Speedway sponsoring the number 17 SS Greenlight NASCAR Infinity Series car driven by JJ Yelly. It's great having Parlor on board for this race, says JJ. I think Parlor echoes the sentiment of a lot of NASCAR fans and myself that free speech and the ability to have open conversation on or offline without fear is an important part of this country. Of course, it's the SS car, just, you know, because it's, it's, it's a joke. It's funny, the SS car. And then uh, number 17 is something that Q people just love. So everything about this is just hilarious. I don't know if that's why Parlor picked him, but boy, there are going to be some jokes made when more people find out about this. And of course, the uh, free speech he's talking about is like the one that Apple got them in trouble for, which was hate speech and January 6th attacks and things like that. You know, that that type of thing is what Parler's known for. Not sure yet again that that's what his sponsors want to tie themselves to, but hey, his choice. And here's another little press release for it. Yet again, his press release. But here... We can get the Parlor CEO it says aligning with a driver with embodies our values to both Parlor and the NASCAR communities was essential. JJ Yelly is that guy. Yeah, I really just either he gets through this race and never mentions them again, or all hell breaks loose before this race even takes place, or right after the race. You might be able to get through the storm, but the thing is, you have people like Fat Boy Ice Cream, right? Like, they are very tied to him. Uh, Goodyear on this jacket here, for example, does Goodyear want to be tied to Parlor? Does anyone on his jacket or on his car want to be tied to Parlor? And the answer is going to be a pretty much universal no. I, I want to know how much money they offered, because it had to be substantial. Because this could ruin basically all of his current sponsor relationships going forward.